All right, folks, good morning. Welcome to Cartoon Chores. Kind of getting a little bit of a late start here, but um, we are working on some uh, something pretty cool, I think. Let me see if I can move this down a little bit. All right, Groovy. So, um, kind of picking up where we left off yesterday and uh, where we were looking at, um, we were looking at Character Animator which I don't have up right now, but I do have this, uh, <laughs> I do have this like template file uh, open in Photoshop. And um, I'm wanting to take the, uh, take this character and update the template file to then have the character that we already have, which is, this is from uh, an app we did back in the day called Pope My Voodoo. We also used um, a lot of the, these, uh, 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 this kind of set up on a music video uh, for Fits in the Tantrums called Roll Up. And uh, so I wanted to go through and uh, just set this character up based off of their template and then, uh, and then update the template and then open that in uh, Character Animator. So I've gone through and I've done an analysis of um, different, um, I've done an analysis of different uh, frames here of mouse shapes that we need um, and uh, I've been trying to go through and get those set up here. You can see that I still need to have, oh it looks like I need an R as well as, well as an F. So R and F need to be done and I have uh, four different expressions here. I have neutral, happy, sad, and sarcastic. Um, I believe they had, they for sure had happy. They had surprise, but they didn't have sarcastic. And, and I don't know if the way we have it here, set up here is, is that you have, um, I had, we had it set up so that your expression, that basically you have your phoneme, and then you have an expression that goes along with that phoneme so that you can change the expression of the character. Um, I'm not sure if there's a setup that way uh, or not right now. Right now all I'm seeing here is, is that they have this set here, which is all just under mouth. And then under mouth they have, they have a neutral shape, they have a smile, a surprise shape, and then they have a couple of frames for ah. And so under this, under this it looks like they have one and two, and my assumption is Maybe that's an animated sequence that goes from here to, to then here. And then maybe it ping pongs back down. I don't know how that, I don't know how that works yet. Um, so, uh, but I'm gonna go through and just, again, we have two shapes that we don't have yet. Um, one of them is the F shape. And uh, so we're gonna basically make that shape for uh, for this character over here. And we're just gonna do it in the neutral, neutral pose right now. It's not overly happy or anything. So let's look at these different shapes and see which one would be a good one for F. Um, I think the D wouldn't be too bad to do an F. Um, the L might not be too bad. The E, E, F. Yeah, I think E. That's the E happy. That's the happy E. Oh, come on. So this is the E. And so make that into an F. All right, let's do that. So we'll take this. We will duplicate that. And I'm going to call this the F. Oops. Where are you? There you are. Okay. F. Do that. Um, I'm gonna lock that. Unlock the F. And I haven't used Illustrator in a while to draw, so this one ought to be interesting. So essentially we want something like this to this, to, oop. Where are you at? Pen tool. There we are. Okay. OK. 
okay, and then P. If I push P again, it goes away. I'm gonna hit I for an eyedropper. Boop. And now it's got that. Let's go through and make this more of a that kind of shape. Yeah, interesting. Okay. All right, so we've got that. Copy. Paste. Oops, undo that. Copy, paste. We can get rid of some of these because we're not going to use it. I'm going to get rid of that for now. Maybe if I can find out how to grab it. Rascal. That's weird. What is going on? My brain is melting. Where is that art? If I hit delete, let's look at that. Where is it? <laughs> Where is it? I did bring this in from an older version of Illustrator, but I did not expect it to not be able to let me grab anything. That's crazy talk. Um. Man, alive. Well, and that's not even let me grab those. What in the world? Well, I am stumped. Oh, duh. That's a big duh. I'm thinking about things in Toon Boom world, not, not Illustrator world. So you're gonna have to excuse me on that. You don't have to excuse me, but I'd greatly appreciate it if you did. I suppose if you don't excuse me, you probably won't be watching anymore, so it doesn't really matter anyway. <laughs> that is the drawback of knowing a lot of programs is that you forget about a lot of those programs too, and that can be tough. Shift C. All right, we're gonna do cut here. Just C to cut. And do that. Is this the first one? It's the last one. So this one, that's good. We're gonna leave it. That one's good. We're gonna leave it. Hit C. We will click on that one. A, V, delete it. C, and actually lock that thing before we do it. Now C on this one, intersect, V. Delete, lock all those, C back to cut, 
cut there, cut there, V. All right, and I know I now I've done that. I'm gonna go back and. change some things here so it really looks like it should be more like this Where are you, guide? All right, well, whatever. Um, okay. All right, so now we will lock that one, C, cut that, V, select that, delete, C, V, delete, C, V, delete, K, and I'm gonna cut this out there, V, Delete that. I don't think that this one needs to go out this far either. So I will unlock this one. C, V. Delete that. Cool. And C. Cut that there. Cut that there. V to select that. Cool. So there's that. Now let's take this doodad and we're gonna hit plus and add one there. Add add some vertices in here. I think it is. Shift C. Shift C is it? Yeah, I think it is. Yep. Great. All right. So there we go. Um, now, usually when you're using this kind of like mouth shape for um, Poke My Voodoo characters normally have the stitches, but because of this kind of deal, I think it'll be, it'll be too complex uh, visually to see that stuff. So anyway, that is our neutral F, and now we need to do an R. So again, I was looking at that F, I was going through and doing it. It's pretty much the same one as the Poke My Voodoo one. Now that's what they're saying an R looks like, R. So it's open mouth with teeth and a tongue, R. Cool. 
open mouth. We have this one here. And that we don't even know what that is yet. So we could just go ahead and use this one. Let's just use it. Okay, so here we are. Undo that. Okay, hit P for pen. One there. Yep, you can just keep it straight across there. Oh. I'll lock all those. that. Now if I turn something like this on, uh, I drop, boop, that. There's that. And now we're in let's just call this F neutral F. We have this, we can pull it down well, I'm going to have to duplicate this one. Come on, rascal. Duplicate. Pull that up to the top. And select that. And then the fill needs to be empty. Cool. Lock that. Lock that. There we go. There's that. And pen. Do something like this. Okay, there's that. Now let's find another. I, boop, select that. Hopefully that translates, it does. Great. All right, so. I have this saved now here. If I look at the artboard, the artboard is a different size. The width is, you know, it's 512 and the height is this. Um, I'm gonna hit okay on that, I suppose. Can I take that artboard and can I make that just, if I make it 500 pixels, 800 pixels. It's just going to do that. Let's look at, again, I forget what the size is. 800 by 1068. All right, and this is only for the head. I know I have the body in there and everything, but this is only for the head. Okay. Now I'm going to scale this all up in here, and this is gonna be a drag. I'll tell you that right now, because you have to open up every single stinking one of these things, and uh, Make sure it's open and there isn't anything locked in any of these. Or 
else they won't scale. Now, luckily, looking at all this, I'm not seeing anything that's um, locked yet. But basically, if there's any subfolder, you need to open it up and look at it and make sure there's nothing locked in there. So now, when you get to the mouths, this is just going to be a nightmare. Now, why am I not just a... Uh, I could... I could cheat and export this out of here into Photoshop at a, at a very high resolution and then crop and all that stuff, but you know what? I want this rig, I want this to be maintained, and I want to show you guys the right way to do it, not some sort of like quick cheat how you do it. Is it a drag? Yeah, it's a drag. But like, see, look, all those, boop. Now that was cool. The question I have is, is if I lock this here, it locks everything. So that's, if I can just lock, lock and unlock, on, lock and unlock, shoot, see? If there's anything that's locked, it's gonna stay locked. And eventually all these things actually will have to be turned on too, so. And if there are things that are not turned on, You are a son of a gun. You have to turn it on to unlock it, I guess. Would it be good to, I mean, because I have all kinds of assets too that will need to be added to this. And so essentially, there's gonna be a whole batch of scaling going on, but. <clears throat> To work, but that's what it takes. Um, okay. It's looking pretty close. So some of these, like pelvis and things, I'm not going to do these because um, these aesthetic wise would not work in um, basically because of their, their setup, they would not work in Character Animator anyway. So I'm not going to worry about those. I might as well just, in fact, just pull them out. Just not to be confused by what it, what's doing there. All right, so we have all of this on there now. We can go over here to V, hit V to select the select tool. Select all. We're going to scale this up, and I'm going to leave some space around it. See, not everything's scaled. There's a mouth there that didn't scale.
it is kind of a shock. Like, really? How did I miss that? <laughs> How did I miss all those? All right, so here we go. Select all, everything. Scale it up. Hopefully nothing, yep, nothing was left behind. Great. Um, now notice, though, that as I do that, there is some... Basically, it's because the, the the line thickness is not scaling with it, um, it it messes up the art. So we have to do. So I'm, you're excuse me for a second. I am going to open up a deal here and find out how it scales line thickness with it. I need to know this about once a year. Adobe Illustrator. Um, Scale, um, scale, stroke width, scaling an object and the stroke. Open your transform palette and click the options in the upper right. You need to make sure scale strokes and effects is checked. All right, so we're going to go here and the stroke. Pull this over here. Show options. At least I thought that was it. Deselect that. What's this? Hide options. Open your transform palette. It says transform, not the stroke palette. Scale strokes and effects right there. There it is. Okay, so now we do this. It will stay the same. We're gonna center it up. In fact, let me do this real quick. Let me go back and say Control T. And um, I want to know, I don't want this to be just like a random scale. I'm just going to scale it by 200. So the object, transform, scale, 200, uniform, OK. Weird. So it's fine. <laughs> it's like totally random on whether it's going to. Uh, it's not totally random. Somehow those got turned off. Look at that. I swear that I had all those. There's some ghost in the machine thing happening here. Okay. These eyelids, I don't know what that's about. I don't, I, don't, I don't even think there's any art in there. Oh, there is. It's just all not on. No, it's on. Okay. We may want those.
This is front eyelids, lower eyelids, upper, okay? Do not know if we'll use these at all, but in case we need them, we have them. Took me a long stinking time to draw it all, so I might as well copy it and use it. Cool. All right, so then yes, we're gonna scale this to 200%. Object, transform, scale, 200%. Whoop. Groovy. And then we're gonna center up the head in the middle. How did that not? Okay. I don't know why we're not seeing like, um, seeing these guides once we lay them in there. They just kind of disappear. So. Take a little look at this, grab that. And I wanna have the info open. So you can kinda of see where it's placed. Height. So width wise, it's placed at 518 pixels. Height wise, it's placed at 385.9 pixels. Let's just take a little quick look here. We're gonna align to the artboard. So let's center that there. Okay, so we see it's off center that way. And boop, it's off center that way. So we're gonna select everything. Boop, 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 come on. Didn't like my fancy dancy trick. Man. I suppose I'm going to save this first and then I'm going to group that and I may have to drag everything out of that group when we're all done. Hmm. That did work, wow. Now, can I ungroup? Does it not kill me? So I can turn off these things individually. Well, that looks like a mess. So that's why I saved it, was that grouping it. All right, so we're not gonna do that. I'm gonna go back to Open the recent version. Oh, it's not gonna let me do that. So I'll hit this, hit no. It's already open, man. Oh, you are 
jerk. Thank you. Um, all right, so then, how do I solve the problem? I'm going to duplicate this. Take this copy. Then open up their little line deal. Go here and here. This is the copy. I'll, brought, I'll click that. Everything here. It's like not refreshing. Wow, super slow. Okay, well, I just wanted it roughly in the right place in the center. Doesn't have to be perfect. I'm not going to get rid of this copy. I'm going to save this as version 25, 8. Okay, um, now some of these are not named, are still not named the same. Like face background. Hmm. Instructional background guide. So I better set it up in a similar structure here. Now, of course, I'm looking at this in Photoshop. I'm not looking at it in Illustrator. I had better open up an Illustrator head. All right, folks, well, um, I'm going to hit the hit the timeout button here for just a second. I'm going to get this opened up, make sure that everything's looking right, and then we'll go ahead and get started again. Okay, so it'll be a part two coming shortly. <laughs>